Google Forms is a great tool for surveys and data collection. Let's take a look at creating a quiz to monitor student learning and provide feedback on their progress. From the home screen of Google Forms, let's start by creating a blank quiz. Let's create our first multiple choice question. We want to make sure that it is required by turning it on. Then we'll click on the three dots and there's an option here to shuffle option order. This means every time a student goes to the form, it will shuffle the option order of the question. Since our quiz feature is turned on, we'll see the option to select the answer key in the lower left corner here. If you don't see it, go to the settings menu by clicking on the cogwheel next to the send button. You'll see three options at the top. On this page, we want to make sure that we restrict users to only our organization. If you only want students to take the quiz once, you can click limit to one response. To turn on the quiz feature, we'll go to the far right where it says quizzes. We'll then turn the slider to make this a quiz. Now we have the options to release the grade immediately, which is my favorite because it gives the student the immediate feedback kids need. We also have the options to allow students to see missed answers, the correct answers and points value. I recommend you uncheck these depending on your situation. Then we'll click the save button. Now let's click on the answer key and designate a point value for this particular question. We also need to select the correct answer. We'll see that it now has a check mark next to the correct answer. Then click done. Continue creating the rest of your questions. Make sure they are set as required that you set the point value and correct answers. You can see in the upper right hand corner here, the number of total points available on the quiz. And we're done. It takes a moment to set up a quiz, but once it's done, you can reuse it over and over. I recommend you taking the quiz yourself so you know that it works properly. Just click on the preview button to bring up the live version, select your answers and click submit. The student will then be able to immediately view their score. If you'd like to know more about the feedback options that you see here or additional best practice for quizzes using Google Forms, click on the next video on this screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment below and share it with a colleague or on social media. Let me know if there's something you'd like me to cover and I'll make a video for that as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to get notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.